<laughs> Hi, um, this is Martin Pavian. Um, I'm actually feeling so full of energy. I just recorded my second of these um, video casts and then I thought, hang on a second, I'm, I'm going to do another one. Uh, I'm doing them a little bit out of order. Um, the one I've just done, which I will release second, uh, explains my motivation for doing a polyphasic sleeping. But I guess before I do anything, I should just give you a basic explanation as to what it is. I didn't realise just how straightforward this is. Um, I have got quite a few books already on it, but I've not yet had the time to read them. So as my knowledge develops, I'll come back and you know explain them a little bit more. But um, last week, I was quite excited by Tim Ferriss's new book, which is uh, The 4-Hour Body. Uh, it's had a lot of hype uh, and basically what it is, it's uh, a compendium of different strategies to make yourself stronger, sleep less, um, lose weight, you know, lots of health and fitness um, techniques. And a lot of these are kind of unknown things, either, either things which he's taking the credit for, uh, things which he's developed himself or things that he's I don't know, blatantly ripped off from other people and one of these is polyphasic sleep and it only takes up a few pages of his book and it was only as I read it I thought this is really really straightforward um, I'd heard about polyphasic sleep um, through a guy called Steve Pavlina uh, he has a blog called Steve Pavlina so that's uh, S-T-E-V-E-P-A-V-L-I-N-A dot com and I think he made a real real name for himself by actually doing this kind of diary. Uh, he did it as a, a text-based diary in the days before video blogging. And uh, you know, he did um, polyphasic sleeping for about six and a half months. Uh, he did an extremely good job with it. Um, but it was something that when I read it many, many months ago, probably a couple of years back, I looked at it and I thought, oh, but this is too complicated for me. I didn't quite understand it. And now I'm going to realise how simple it is. Um, this is why I'm, I'm giving it a try. Basically, the idea is that normal people, uh, not myself, I guess, uh, sleep eight hours a night. You know, and they do it in one sleep. And that's called monophasic sleeping. Uh, generally, you'll do that maybe you know, midnight till 8 a.m. Now, the idea is that instead of doing that, you break up your sleep. Um, there's different aspects of polyphasic sleeping. Uh, what you can do is you can just do the occasional 20 minute nap in the middle of the day or at various intervals during the day and um, you still have a night's sleep and the more naps you have during the day the less sleep you need at night. Now the most extreme is what's known as the uh, Uberman sleep cycle uh, or Uberman polyphasic sleeping or you know basically things around Uberman uh, systems. Uh, and that is where you do no nighttime sleeping at all. You don't have a long, you know, I'm going to bed now, put your pajamas on, um, anything like that. Instead, what you do is you break your entire day up into six 20 minute naps, okay? And you have those every four hours. And that means you don't need any nighttime sleeping. Um, and that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I've been doing it now for yeah, about 25, 26 hours. I'm coherent enough for you know, anybody who'd be doing something like that. So I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. Um, but what I plan to do is I plan to just once every day, just pick up the, or sit in front of the camera, keep talking as I am now, just let you know how I'm getting on. I am expecting in a few days, I'm really gonna crash and burn. But the other thing as well, it's Christmas week. so. I don't actually have that much difficult work to do. I'm, I'm kind of going to treat this as an opportunity that when I am feeling tired, I'm just going to do easy things. I'm going to watch some movies, maybe even play some video games and things like that. Um, I can, financially I can't afford it, but I can afford to just give myself a week to kind of get over the sleep deprivation and cycle through that. And I believe that once you do that, that's when everything becomes very, very easy and there are a lot of blogs online um, there are videos on YouTube where people have broken past that sleep deprivation barrier and they love it. Uh, they're saying how productive they are, how full of energy they are. There's anecdotes where people are going out with their friends until four o'clock in the morning, then, you know, continuing working. I've heard from people who are doing three jobs uh, and making triple the amount of money because they can get away with this. Um, people are taking up all these wonderful hobbies which they haven't really had the opportunity to do before so uh, that's what I'm looking forward to presenting to you uh, it may not work you may find a 
two, three days time, I'm in front of the camera. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it seems so good, so, uh, so far so good. <laughs> um, excuse language there. Um, there'll be more of those little um, brain farts, I guess they're called, um, to be expected over the next few days. But until then, I'm going to go make myself some uh, breakfast and uh, yep, I'll be in touch soon. Bye.